Sun's Honest Reactions, Aka Sun here. Welcome to a very late night reaction of the latest episode of Game of Thrones. Uh, I think this is episode six or so. I believe it's called Blood of My Blood. A little inclusive, maybe to Daltraki or something more. I don't know. I saw a, a, some sort of thumbnail that um, Marjorie was going to be, it looked like she was about to do a little bit of that. Shame, shame, shame. So I'm definitely ready for that. Um, the good thing about doing one of these late night reactions is it's wine time. So without further ado, if you're ready, let's get into it. Your latest reaction of Game of Thrones starts now. Oh no. All right, Game of Thrones, what you got for me today? I'm ready for anything. Oh shit! Nice! He's learning everything right now. Hello. God damn, Sam, you be living good over here, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Sam be living a life. Crib style. The woman, huh? Father says I have to marry Simon Fossaway. He has yellow teeth. They really look alike. <laughs> so nobody's gonna ask how come he has blonde hair? And neither of them do. We learned that from season one. It's like we stepped into a whole nother show for some reason. That was weird. Keeping up with the Samuels. The gods have a plan for us all. What game is she playing? If she's playing at all. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks so uncomfortable. It's hard to walk in this. <laughs> she doesn't know how to use fork and spoons. And knives. So did you do much hunting up at the wall? I killed a white walker, oh, yes. bitch. Yes, um. I saw it with my own eyes on our way down to Castle Black. He drove. Oh, uh, she gave, gave it away. Off. Fuck. A greater worry than either of you will ever be. Oh. It's Valerian steel. Oh. Only a handful of them left in the world. Come on, right. Sam. Do something. Oh, the other. I'm gonna be honest. I really don't give a shit about either of these two. Like, is he really gonna jack this sword though? <laughs> Arya likes that part. <laughs> Arya's digging it. Damn, they even got the titties right on Cersei, just like the original one. Arya, don't fuck this there shit up. No don't fuck this mission up, Arya. <laughs> ah! Careful about one. She wants you dead. Arya! Yeah, I knew it. Not good. Oh, she's about to bounce. She's like, fuck this assassin shit. I guess a girl has a name. If we sin, we must atone. <laughs> Yeah, it's a tone of time, all right. Of course, Tyrell came to us a sinner. She stood before the god. Oh, shit. Queen Marjorie has already atoned for her sins. 
by bringing another into the true light of the seven. Cersei? What? What the fuck's going on? Oh, shit. Together, we announce a new age of harmony. Oh, no. A holy alliance between the crown and the faith. Together, we will restore the Seven Kingdoms to glory. Well played. No idea what we're going to do to them. <laughs> it's been a while since we had a little bit of incest. God, I can't believe I'm even saying that about a show. We've always been together. We'll always be together. You know. You're watching a fucked up show when the incest is the best ship right now. And there's a dog or cat. When I last saw you, you were a boy. Okay, it's definitely his uncle. Got it. We already know who he is. Hey. Wow, he looks fucked. White Walker stabbed me in the gut with the sword of ice. Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> she could feel it. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, every time I see it, it looks he looks real real dope. Drago. So there you have it, the latest episode of Game of Thrones, and let's not, let, like, I, I got pumped at the end, let's, man, let's not confuse it with anything, I got real pumped at the end, I don't know, I, you could feel it there, but, um, uh, it, if anything, I guess you could say that was a game changer, but, uh, not necessarily, uh, definitely factors were in play that made it a game changer. It wasn't a slow episode, uh, but it was definitely a development type episode where it makes you really think of what's happened, what's going to happen next, right? Um, so I'm trying to think of the question of the day as well. Like, what what could we basically talk about here? Uh, but from, you know, I, I'm, I'm interested because I, I can see some of the theories that I've been uh, hearing a lot of you guys have been telling me in the comments about 
how the uh, trial by combat is going to happen. I hope we can start to set that up real soon. I'm very surprised that you guys were able to figure that one out or whoever posted that on 4chan or on Reddit uh, years ago. That's kind of weird, kind of weird, but all that being said, I hope we can get uh, get up to that speed. It was really cool actually seeing the return of uh, Uncle Stark here. Um, and now we know exactly what happened to him. That was a huge reveal there. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious, like, we, we are going in uncharted, or just different territories here. Um, new stories that I wasn't really, f uh, sort of ready for. And at the same time, some stories, like the thing with Sam, I'm, I'm, I don't care so much about Sam and Gully or whatever that shit's going on but the other stuff I am kind of interested I want to see like a lot of stuff that was happening around the time of the Red Wedding it has finally come back into play it looked a little everybody looked you know a little different than the time before but you know of course time that that's gonna happen to any any people uh, let's see let's go ahead and move on to the question of the video <laughs> Alright, so what I'm thinking here is, uh, this is kind of a simple one, is this is just the only one I could really kind of poop out my brain real quick and such, um, because uh, I, I, I had wondered about this in the sense that Jamie is now going to lead an army, right? And that actually had been a, uh, based on the book character from what I vaguely remember reading up on years ago. Uh, Jamie had actually become, uh, went on um, to be, he never went on the, uh, what was the deal? Uh, the thing with uh, Brienne and such. Um, he never actually went on that sort of journey uh, for the most part. And he actually went on to become a very capable war commander, if I remember correctly. So... It is kind of cool seeing him come back to the books like that in that particular character. I hope that plays out really well. But I am kind of curious, what do you guys think about this merger of the house and faith, right? The two pillars. It's kind of interesting. I actually thought that was very well played, the way that all kind of came together. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I saw a little bit of the trailer for next episode, like the Queen of Thorns and such. She was saying Cersei was a uh, stupid what she was trying to do but I'm kinda curious like what did they think they were gonna do otherwise like w did they have another plan did they have a better plan going on I'm kinda wondering why was the Queen of Thorns getting all pissed off at Cersei anyways because um, it seemed like the this was already going to happen anyways merging the uh, the faith in the faith the 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 royalty and faith together. It's kind of interesting to see how that kind of reflects about real life and such, you know, when, you know, uh, about church and government or state and, what is that? State and government, church and state? Yeah, the church and the state. Now we're going to see how that works together hand in hand on Game of Thrones. Anyways, I guess that's it for this episode. It's uh, about 12.40 now. Let me see if I can crack this reaction out for you guys, okay? Like, share, subscribe, guys. We are almost there to that 90K on the road to 100K. I appreciate all of you, and I will check back with you guys next week on Game of Thrones. I'm out. Peace, guys. Then what's going to happen? Yeah. He'll die. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Whoa. From uh, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths.